Dear brothers and sisters, praise be Jesus. While I was doing my BCom studies in uh, Ernakulam, I still remember a lady, a mother, she was coming uh, to the office of Father Rector. She was uh, crying. And she went inside the office. And after 15 minutes, she came away. And when she saw me, since I know her, she came to me. She was still crying. And she said just one thing, a brother, why is that the Lord is still giving me struggles after struggles in my life? My husband, a drunkard, and the eldest son is now in a 10th standard, but she is slowly losing control over him. At the same time, she was not shattered. She said, Brother, still I have a consolation in the Lord. Kindly pray for me, because I know that the Lord will never abandon me. Dear brothers, dear sisters, the Gospel today, the very first verse of the Gospel today, we read Jesus telling each one of us, If you want to follow me, take up the cross and follow me. I'm sure all those who are listening to me we all have struggles in our life. It might be the struggles uh, in order to overcome the temptations, uh, let's say against uh, the woe of uh, poverty, or maybe the woe of chastity, maybe the woe of obedience, or it might be some misunderstanding that happens in our everyday life, the place where we work, or even it might be certain family issues the struggles that are there in our family. I still remember some three days ago, I received a phone call from my father. And my house is uh, being renovated these days. And he was telling me, at this point of time, he is really struggling to find, to meet the uh, expenses. He is really running short of money. And after that, there was a big silence, which really communicated a lot to me. And once the conversation was entered, I was literally weeping inside, thinking my helplessness. Dear brothers, dear sisters, but the Lord is asking us to take these little struggles in our life, in our everyday life. That's why the Word of God testifies in, uh, in the letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 18, we read, I consider that the suffering of our present life cannot be compared with the glory that will be revealed or that will be given to us. Dear friends, let us take up these little sufferings in our life because it is not an end in itself. Rather, it is the beginning of a greater glory that is going to be manifested in our life. We again read in uh, St. Paul, the letter, to the, uh, the letter to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 onwards. We are afflicted, but we are not crushed. We are persecuted, but we are not forsaken. We are struck down, but we are not destroyed. Dear friends, contemplating the life of Jesus, we see that Jesus did not want to suffer in order to heal the sick or in order to give sight to the blind or even he didn't want to really suffer in order to raise the dead. But he had to suffer a lot. In fact, a lot to be the Holy Eucharist. He was crowned with thorns. He was pierced. He was uh, scourged at the pillar. He was nailed on the cross to be the Holy Eucharist. Dear brothers, dear sisters, when we have little struggles in our life, let us always pray to the Lord. Oh Jesus, help each one of us to endure, to take up our everyday sufferings, everyday struggles, to take up these struggles joyfully, to embrace them and to endure them for your greater glory. Amen.